good at good afternoon everybody and uh, once again we are creating 3d items the 3d uh, templates or 3d objects here in our 3d builder uh, once again you guys can go and get this program it is free it's, you just go on the Microsoft store on your uh, Microsoft com base computer and you can uh, type in the words 3d builder and it will pop it up. It's free to download. You just have to have uh, an email account associated with your Microsoft stuff. And it will allow you to download it and put it on your computer. Um, like I said, they have different versions of it. Your Mac users, I, I made mention in the last video that Mac users could use this. Well, Mac users can, can use it as long as you have a Windows operating system on your Mac. Although the controls are a little bit different because, you know, a Mac keyboard is completely, totally different from a Windows system. But, today we're going to be creating a coin, uh, you know, like a change, you know, your pocket change uh, container or holder or however you want to put it. And we're going to be creating this all through without any pre-configured items. Uh, the only thing we're going to be using are the items that are based off this program and what it provides. So let's get started. First of all, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be bringing, well, you reach up and you hit insert, and then you have all this, you have a cube, a cylinder, a pyramid, a cone, a spear, hexagon, a wedge, a torus, and a funny looking triangle looking shape. Yeah, that right there. <laughs> okay, so first of all, we're going to bring a cylinder down. And of course, it automatically zooms in, and we're going to bring this here cylinder over. Now, the funny thing about this is that we are going to just use just one cylinder. And let's turn it on its side. That darn 270. Okay. Okay. So let's bring it on to the work pad. Okay. Now I'm zooming in and everything using the mouse and key in the, the left. Okay, like to move it this way, that's the left mouse button. To do this is the right mouse button. So once you get used to it and everything, you'll you'll get the hang of you know moving it around and everything. And then of course the mouse zooms in, zooms out. So this is going to be our base of uh, the the coin. Uh, holder itself. We're going to actually going to we're going to scale it up so it can hold quite a bit of change. So we're going to make it we're going to grow it. Let's unlock that because we want to bring it wide and then we want to bring it out. Now this is why I put it in inches so I can see. So my build plate is about six inches in width. And so anything over six inches is just a little bit too big. So, you know, bring it in like that, you know. And bringing it like this is not going to hurt nothing. So I got about five inches there. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter, just to be on the safe side. Okay. So as you can see, it is no longer a round cylinder. It's actually kind of oval shaped now because the way I stretched it so when you unlock this right here you can stretch it out on the sides make it an oval or you can make it elongated just however you want it you know squish it down make it flat for this aspect here we are going to go like that we're gonna make it kind of oval shaped Isn't that cool looking and so Next thing we're going to be doing is this is actually going to be picked up off of the bed. Okay, so we're going to have feet on the bottom of it because you know it's an oval. You start putting change in that, it's going to roll off your off your table. You know, um, we can make it a square if we wanted. You know, uh, you know, usually the square boxes are what you normally see holding change or whatever but you know I want to be a little bit different I want to be a, a, a little bit more unique on how we create this so alright okay so we're gonna edit this so we're gonna split it 
and then we're going to keep both because we want both sides so when you first initially say split it automatically it's even even Steven right down the center okay so then you say split now the reason why I did that is because we're going to use that top section for something different on here it's not a lid it is not a lid so we're going to double click this we're going to raise it up a little bit okay now this is where everybody says well you know it's a solid piece of it's a solid object how how do you get that that inner hook to it so what we're going to use we're going to use this piece as that we're going to use that to hollow this out and this is where we really get down nitty-gritty into the mechanics of what we're going to be doing so we do this and this time we're going to lock it it's because we're we already got the size all we want is just to shrink it just a little bit because we want those edges so we bring it in okay just so slightly and to test this we can sink this in now you say okay see these are here the same color and this thing has a nice little feature you say paint and then you say color so we're going to color this a different color we're going to put it in red so we can see this okay and say color check the color okay so now we can see this coming down into the other piece okay of course it turned the bottom blue but we're going to see this so we're going to bring it down into the other piece like this now depending on how, how thick you want the bottom that's what we want to do we want to bring it down as close as to the bottom we can point three so we want a point five a point three three seven well, I guess there right, there'll be a um, you know big enough so we're gonna scale it up just a little bit too because I don't like the edges right there okay uh, let's see uh, we can unlock it if we wanted you can just do this and give it some really thin walls or you can make them real thick you know and then anyway it goes this thing's gonna grow so we want some thin walls on it because it's a you know it's an awfully big object we want it to be uh, less plastic as possible so then we go into here to edit once again and we say subtract now we're already clicked on this make sure you're clicked on the the inner piece here because that's what we're going to be um, subtracting out and we say subtract and as you can see it's now hollowed out it turned it red because that's the color it was you know but it shows you the hollowed out section now you can see the shadow right here how it's hollowed out okay so the next thing is that we're going to give it a name tag. So everybody knows it's a coin thing. So we go back to insert and then we're going to grab a cube. A cube! So then we're going to unlock this. Let's give it a name tag. Alright, so we're going to leave, leave that sit there. We're going to actually going to edit that a little bit more later. Okay, so we're going to go on this side of it. Or we can just move that so we can just still see the, uh, the, the ratio of this and how it sits and everything. Okay. 
So we're going to put it like that. Okay, so now we're going to make the legs. You know, this is a very simple build and everything uh, everybody can actually do on the program. And everybody thinks, oh, that's so complicated and it's so, so complex. How did you do that? You know, it's not really all that complicated because if you really kind of think about it, we're just putting objects together. So we're going to implement this right here. We're going to uh, duplicate that twice. We're going to need legs. Need legs. Okay. So. Now. Bring this over here. And then turn it. Now to turn it like that, you want to look directly overhead and turn it. You can see it just like that. And then move it in and place like so. And then we're just going to take this one right here because it's the same thing. And look it straight overhead. And then put it in place. Now, here's where everybody is going to kind of freak out, okay? Because I'm going to delete something or use something to make these legs a little bit better. So we're going to duplicate this, okay? And we're going to bring it, this one over here. And then we're going to click back on this one, and then we're going to move this up in the air. Okay. And then we're going to move these in. Uh, let's place them right about there. It's not exact science, you know you're going to get one in further than the other one sometimes you know it's just once you build it and everybody says oh I like that you know then what you can do is that you can take this and you can just print the same one over and over and over and uh, just make it really nice okay well now we're going to shrink these a little bit down Make them even with our object here. Just like that. And of course you can go to one and make it shaped like that and then copy it and then come in and do the same thing. But for this I'm just going to do like a, a nice little edit. Eyeball it as best I can. Just kind of get even. Okay. So then we're going to take the main system here, the main part, and we're going to drop it down. All the way until we're at the very top of these things. Oh, look at there. One's taller than the other. How did that happen? Oh, that's okay. So we take this one and we make it taller. And it is not tall enough. So we bring it right there to the edge. And this is where you can kind of critique it and everything and you can see where it all kind of comes together. So you want to place it like right there underneath it because that's this thing is going to delete this out. You can bring this in and you can watch the edge. Just like so. Okay. Go 
go to the other one. And let's fix that one. Bring it right in. It's right there on the edge. Okay. So then we double click our main part, and this is what it's going to kind of look like when you get done. But of course, what we're doing is we're cutting out the legs for it. So then you go to edit and you say subtract. Of course it does this. If one doesn't do like it should on the other, then basically use you we you know we, we want it to, to look like this. That's what we want it to look like. But if it doesn't do it, of course. And if you mess up, if you end up making it longer or stretch it out or anything, you just hit control Z. Okay? And here's that redness I was talking about. So this right here is one or more objects is messed up now. So you want to click this and it will automatically fix you. It'll, it'll repair it. And we just let it repair for a second and see if it actually corrects what we were trying to do. It takes a little bit long, you know, a little bit of time and everything. And while we wait, we can sit here and talk about this for a little bit. Um, being imagined, you know, having imagination and everything is a really good, good, is a really plus part about creating things because I'm, I'm constantly trying to come up with new ideas and everything. And it's hard. It really is. Okay, so it did not fix that piece over here, okay? Like we wanted it to. So like I can click on this, but I can click on that, or I click on that. You know, it says two pieces. Click, click. So, top. And we want to say delete. And that's what we want, is that right there. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to do this. We're going to say delete on this one. And we're going to say this and object duplicate. And that's what we want. We want at least one of them to be good. Because we want the duplication of it. That's, always, that's why it's always good to do two of them instead of just one. Because sometimes it just doesn't work out. Alright, so we have that. So then we click this little guy over here, we bring him up, and we bring him to it. Now, if you can kind of see how this is going to fit together. So we want to get close as possible so we can get the mo most accurate measurement, okay? And we start bringing it down. Okay, so it snaps too automatically so it is there that is together okay and that's how we want it and maybe uh, bring it down a little bit center it up okay looking pretty good we don't have nothing on the inside uh, we have the legs on nice Nice, nice. So now we're going to do our name tag to finish off this build. And I'm going to show you guys how to put lettering on here. So we attach this. get a little bit better attachment area here let's bring this all the way down to our legs how's that 
Articulate. Just let our imagination just kind of flow. I mean, and y'all can do this any way y'all want. I mean, you don't specifically have to do it my way. Okay, so we first of all we gotta level this right here. So we click on all three of our items here. We don't have that one clicked. Okay, and we say group. That right there groups all those three pieces together. And of course we do a settle. That settles it on. Brings it to the plate. Alright, there, that looks a lot better. A lot better. Okay, so then we want to just click that one and we want to bring this up. So it's even, as best as we can get it, even, okay? And we want to click off, we want to look at these joints. Make sure we ain't got no gaps. Oh, looky there, nice and solid. Oh, looky there, see there? That's why we always want to look at the joints. So we're just a little bit off on length that's it so we want to bring this in there and then unclick no nope. bring it up a little bit more click off and there we go as you can see there are no lines it's nice it's a uh, it's, it's, it's there. I mean, it looks like we have a little bit of gap inside our tube area. So let's zoom in. Check for gaps. Now, if you build this with ABS, ABS has that little feature. Oh, look there. We have a line. No. Alright, so with ABS, okay, when you make this, okay, we're going to be, it's, it's going to make it, right? It's, it's going to print all of it out all at one time. But if you have, like, little gaps or anything around the main structure and everything, uh, of course, you know, you can take your acetone and you can weld those pieces together with acetone. Uh, I've, I've found that to be the best best way of doing it but if you really just kind of want to just print this in a a way so like let's say let's say we want to print it the way it looks you know blue on top green on bottom so you, you want to print this piece by itself okay and or if you have a dual extractor of course uh, that prints you can print more than one color then you can call this color right here and then, of course, say that you know you want this part. And then, of course, you have to put that together on the print, you know, in, in the printing software itself. Uh, you can print from this uh, this software as well. Uh, you just have to find your correct printer in the lists of of compatible printers that this this thing will work with. Uh, but yeah, okay, so. The next thing is we're going to be putting words on here. Oh, let's make sure we get everything together now. So we click that, we click that, and we say group. All right, so it's all together. Everything is one big happy piece. It does have merge here, but like I said, uh, for some odd reason, when I when I hit merge in the past, it wanted to delete the entire uh, project. And I don't know if that was just a glitch in the system or what it was, but for this purposes, if you do end up hitting the merge button and it deletes what you have on the plate, just hit Control Z on your keyboard on Windows machine and it automatically reappears. It still will be grouped together and uh, it'll just reverse the process of that merge and it being deleted off your off your plate. But for 
this purpose right here we're going to just leave it as a grouped object and work it like that. So now we're going to put some words on our plate here. And uh, yeah. So what we want is embos. So we go to edit we click on embos. Okay. Automatically it's going to bring that in. Okay. So I was doing a project and I still had his stuff on there. <laughs> That's okay though. Uh, two wheel design is a that 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 gentleman. He's a very awesome guy, and uh, you guys ought to go check out his website. is two wheels dot com. He does uh, logos and uh, just stickers for people. So right up here has a text. Okay, so we're gonna say. Coin tray. And of course, you see it still has a one here. And I have coin tray up here. So you click here. And all of a sudden, it says coin tray. Okay. So then you can change the font. So let's change the font, shall we? Let's go to the Supreme. There we go. Give it like a Tron-y look and everything. That looks kind of, kind of, kind of nice. Be honest with you. So for this to bring out, I mean, as you can see, if you look over, you see how far it comes out. If you don't want it to go that far, you want it to come out. Then you can pull it out, or you can push it in. That right there, it. Uh, will bring out that text. So, once you get what you written, what you have written, and you want to put it on your uh, object, then you just click Embos. And there you go. For some odd reason, in this program, the O's always have this little circle, and this little spot right in front of the O's or a circle and I don't know if that's just a filler or if that's just a uh, uh, complication in the program but what I've done in the past is well, of course that 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 comes in a little bit of cleanup and everything and since the words are so big then a Dremel comes in into play and I just take my Dremel with a little tip and I will scoop that out of that O and make it all look all nice and clean and of course yeah, and uh, of course I'm going to have some videos out too on how to make your 3D objects look really nice and clean after you get done printing them. I'm also going to have some time-lapse videos of some objects being printed up as well. And uh, to show you guys that the things that we create here can be printed. So... Uh, there is your coin tray. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Uh, you guys be sure to go and click that like button. And if you guys would like to support the channel, don't forget we have the Patreon section open and uh, ready for you guys to come and click on it and come and help support the channel. Uh, Y'all be sure to tell your friends and... and uh, bring them over and you guys check it out if you guys are really into 3d printing and uh, you guys like what I'm doing uh, send me a message and uh, give me some good ideas and everything or if you have some questions or anything of that nature uh, don't be shy to ask because I'm more than willing to help out where I can I mean I don't know everything um, been working with 3d printing for about a year now and uh, I know enough to create things and help other people solve problems as needed. So until next time, y'all take care and uh, 